All right, we're gonna go for another vlog series. It's summer of 2023 in California, Northern California. We just broke 100, uh, 105 or something. It's gonna get quite a bit hotter. But we had a real mild, real mild summer so far. It's been so beautiful. Sorry for the noise, the pumps running for the orchard. We've got micro, micro, uh, sprinklers on there all the birds and birds that live there deer come through there turkeys it's really cool so it's a nice habitat and cruising through there, checking the sprinklers, it's kind of fun. Okay, so today, what we're gonna do today in this vlog series is we are making a handrail for um, a customer of ours. And what does it look like? Here's the drawings. So we're gonna be cutting the pieces using this saw. It's something I've done um, quite a bit as a kid, so I actually want to take this opportunity to tell this story. It's pretty cool. It's good for kids learning, growing, um, especially, um, yeah, anyways. So when I was a kid, my dad gave me $7 an hour to sweep the floor, which was minimum wage at the time. And he told us, look, if you can do a good job sweeping the floor, I can, I'll see potential in you, and I'll teach you how to run the saw. Well, first we learned how to clean the saw, organize the saw, and then you learn how to operate it. And my dad said, look, if you can learn how to operate that saw, I'll give you, I don't know, it was $10 an hour, something like this, right? And eventually the lathe, I'll learn how to run the lathe and make whatever that was, rate was. And he said, look, I'm the owner of this business and I make profit from your work. So every hour that you get 30, I might get, you know, whatever the number is, you know? So if you work hard and create something like this that can provide value, you know, that's, that's kind of how it works, you know? And it, it taught us, you know, that if you develop a skill through practice, training, you know, like riding motorcycles, racing, getting faster, winning the race, being healthy so you can perform well, these type of things, um, you know, these are, these are key. So anyways, uh, enough with that uh, rant. Uh, let's continue on with the uh, vlog today. So if you want, follow along. We'll do it kind of fast, show you each step, what we're going to do just a little bit, and we'll end up with a handrail. All right.
right, so check out this uh, notcher that we have here. It's my dad's. So we bolted it to the table right here. And this thing goes like this. <coughs> and you can plant. You can see here. You get tube in here. New hole saw there. So um, it'll be the right size so that we can um, weld up all these nice joints to make this rail here. So that's what we're, we've been doing. I just deburred all these things so no one's going to get hurt on it while we're handling it and while they're installing it. Yep. 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 That's true. That's it. No, it is true. Yeah. And that just basically, you know, the nitrogen helps, you know, lower general plant stress. And stressed orchards always will split harvest before it was. Uh, whatever that stressor may be, whether it's you know, nutrient deficiency, whether it's water, uh, come up with a uh, better way to sand this check this out because it's circular right so you can see me okay yeah it's circular and you're trying to get it real even so it paints up nice right that's the, the whole goal here so you can rotate it So Mike's making some good progress on the RX-8, the silver one there with the immobilizer issue. And yes, soon I'll shoot the video on this, don't worry. We're working on the cruise control and then we'll get it all cleaned up and we'll get a good video of that. That thing's so fun to drive. This 356, I mean, down there in Mexico, that La Carrera Pan America, I can tell why this thing would shine. And that's where Porsche came up with the name Carrera and continued the Carrera um, terminology for their cars for, you know, up until this day because of the La Carrera Pan America, that race in Mexico. This year it's going to go from Oaxaca, so way south, drive up towards Monterey, um, kind of, you know, close to uh, the Texas border there. 
and uh, yeah, it's gonna be right before the Formula One race in Austin, Texas. So that'd be really cool. I'm a little tight on finances this year. I'm not gonna be able to pull that off, but uh, yeah. So let's jump back into the RX-8. So like I was saying, my brother's making some progress. So the immobilizer system has to do with this key, key point, some electronics there, the ECU, and this, which we just um, learned about, um, is all part of the system of the uh, immobilizer. And so we were in here, my brother found the operating procedure, going down line by line, checking the, you know, if there's a ground, if there's co continuity, if, you know, what the voltage is supposed to be going through step by step and we isolated um, isolated um, two potential problems. I think he probably went through there, figured it out, but what we're gonna do right now, since he has the red RX-8, we're gonna swap the whole system. And so that way, this car should start, um, or if it doesn't, it's saying that, you know, there's a wiring harness issue um, in this car and then we can go ahead and, and fix that but we wanted to kind of identify was it any of these three pieces um, had some issues and it really has to go as a complete set um, maybe there's potential for programming reprogramming and things like this um, but that's where we're at and that's what we're trying to do all right so so for the for the vlog part we're working on these rails um, we're still putting this engine together as well this Porsche uh, 3.18 3 liter putting that together we gapped the rings we did that so stay tuned look for that video coming on on that particular project the brown 911t there <clears throat> the original engines back there we might sell it on bring a trailer um, with the mechanical fuel injection are separate and here is what I'm doing here. Getting these all sanded up so we can paint them a gloss black and working through cutting, notching all of the um, tubes here. Or this is not tube, this is actually pipe. Okay. And But th this thing's so cool. We can um, use this to make nice joints so when you can weld together. Um, so you can nicely, you know, get a good weld, good penetration, good uniformity. So you can make roll cages or something like that as well. Uh, we, we, we would need to set up the, the pipe bender that we have. Um, but I think that's pretty cool. We can build frames, roll cages, things like that. Um, in, in that kind of a fashion. So, yep, that's what we're doing. So what happened, Mike? Mike? Uh, we swapped the ECU, the whole ignition assembly with the coil antenna and the uh, keyless control module. And uh, the car still doesn't start. So as you can see here, put the key in. We're still left with that uh, immobilizer light, not allowing the car to start. So I believe there's something wrong with the wiring on this car all right yeah that's kind of where we're at here and now we have to mike's gonna probably dig into the wiring harness go through the operate the uh operating procedure one more time there and we'll wire something up to confirm if we can get it to go and and so we'll share with you the progress as we go All right, so we got through our first, no, oh, two sticks and 41 inches. So we got our 11, piece, 11 pieces there. And we got a, quite a bit to, to get done. A lot of pieces to cut, a lot of different dimensions, some holes to drill and things like that. Um, if it's not clear, if you don't notice by now, you need to be very careful. Clamp, measure twice, cut once verify that you aren't drifting anywhere 
and yeah organization is key so that's kind of what I've been doing I'm gonna be doing for several hours and all right it's a little break time I got myself um, fresh squeezed um, kind of ice water with some some good mineral salt in there it's so hydrating Uh, and like right now it's real hot and we you know we water it and it's just pumping out the juice out of these things and I think these might be like the second generation because there's baby ones and then there's these you squeeze that that was like a quarter or a half uh, let's just say it was a half in some water because I gave my son some too so it's uh, we haven't lived in this house for too long or you know i haven't um so and that's really cool i wonder if that's just the case and the uh, summertime to get juice here for anyways Should I buy this RX-8 from my brother? The compression readings seem to be really good. The paint is in decent condition. It's gonna be a little Toge, you know, mountain road um, track getter, you know, but something I can be able to drive. Compression readings are good, you know, so I'm considering. It's got a sunroof, but you know. Interior is pretty good. Should I get it? All right, so um, today is Saturday, July 1st. Man, it's already July. We're having a great time in California. It's so awesome that Japan encourages and, and pays both parents to take parental leave. I mean, I'm just... I'm just so thankful for the Japanese government uh, for paying me and allowing me to spend this time with my family. I mean, I mean, being in another country and being away from your family and starting a family, I mean, it's just, you know, it's just so much and it's so beautiful. Uh, hopefully we can get that changed in the U.S. and in, in other countries. Um, it's really a special time and it's just a short time of our lives. Like one year to spend with your kid, you know, raise them up and then get back to work and grind it out and and work hard and support other parents that are going through through this beginning stage. I mean, it's not for everybody. Okay, but anyways, enough enough stuff like that. So today we're gonna go to Thunder Hill Track. I'm gonna we, uh, meet one of my buddies, uh, Trevor, 
he's going to be doing a photography session for some guys at the track and I'm going to tag along um, let's see how it goes I don't know how much footage I'm going to get because I like it's not my event and I'm kind of tagging along but you know maybe I'll shoot a little bit of stuff but I just thought I'd jump on here um, show you this little pickup driving this thing's got 264,000 miles on it this was my brother's truck I had one similar and I sold it to fund my Germany trip uh, you know study abroad so um, was that it oh yeah so um, as you saw previously I'm working on that guardrail that metal guardrail for a business opening up in Willows helping my dad on that uh, we need to get that finished on Monday uh, Tuesday or so maybe mon hopefully Monday uh, we're waiting for the elbows to come the little bins we've got like five bins and we need like uh, a couple more so we're gonna be finishing that up I don't know if I'm gonna release this video before that or not I want to get one other one out here before too long so yeah I hope you're hope you're enjoying I thanks um, for all the new subscribers and um, yeah come along and, and check out what this uh, Northern California country lifestyle is like um, additionally the uh, you know Tokyo and the, the car I got there and exploring those those nice driving roads and kind of unique angle of car culture in Japan.